in this video we are going to consider what is referred to as the partial variation we are told quantity p uh, quantity p varies partly as x and partly as y the value of p is equal to 19 when x is 3 and y is equal to 2 and the value of p is equal to 8 when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. What is the value of x when p is equal to 20 and y is equal to 1? So, to answer this question, first of all, we are going to use the first condition where p is equal to 19. The equation will be 19 is equal to 3k plus 2m. Then, when p is equal to 8 and x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, we will form our second linear equation. So, 8 is equal to k plus m. When you look at equation 1 and 2, they are simultaneous equation, which we are going to solve. So from 2 making k the subject of, of, of the formula, k will be equal to 8 minus m. We substitute equation 3 in equation 1, where you have k, you substitute it with 8. So substituting the value of k in equation 1, we obtain 19 is equal to 3k. Instead of k, we write 8 minus m plus 2m. Removing the bracket, we obtain. So here, you have 3 times 8 is 24. 3 multiplied by negative m is negative m. So you can see negative 1m plus 2m will be negative m. It follows that 19 is equal to 24 minus m. So you can make m positive by adding m both sides and taking 19 on the right hand side to obtain m as equal to 24 minus 19. So from here, we are taking 19 on the right hand side and we have made m positive. So m will be equal to 24 minus 19, which is equal to 5. During equation 3, we substitute the value of m to obtain k. So k will be equal to 8 minus 5, which is equal to uh, three. Question connecting P, X and M is this. P is equal to KX plus MY. Then we substitute the values of K. K is 3, M is 5. So that now we obtain our equation as P is equal to 3X plus 5Y. And we have answered the first part. That is the equation connecting P. So the next question is to obtain the value of x when p is equal to 20 and y is equal to 1. So when p is equal to 20, y is equal to 1, what will be the value of x? So to, to do that, we, we substitute here. 20 is equal to 3x plus 5 multiplied by 1. 20 minus 5 is equal to 3x which implies that uh, 20 minus 5 is 15, which is equal to 3x, meaning that you divide by 3 in both sides, x is equal to 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the value of x is 5. So before we end up this video, I want to give you work to do. Obtain the value of p, what is p? When, when x is equal to 10 and y is equal to negative 2. I give you int, int. You are going to use this formula that uh, p is equal to 3 x plus 5 why kindly try that equation and let me know the uh, respond you obtain the value of p when x is equal to 10 y is equal to negative 2 do that and let me know the answer uh, so that you may learn together or now to study the other part of variation direct variation inverse variation joint variation check in my youtube channel where which i have already done for you and you are going to learn with me uh, remember also to subscribe to this channel 
so that you don't miss a single video which I upload for us now and then. Bye bye for now. May I hear from you? You are a response from this question which I have given you to do.